Welcome to episode 9 of the Libellus de Memoria of William Perkins. Quid? On est vera simile, galenum bene secondi laude in primis illustrum, sensu hebetem fuissa et stupidum, nec carebri nativam compositionem per spexisse? On vesalius etiam lippi entibus fuit et per ver sissimis oculis? Recall that Perkins in the previous episode was talking about the opinion of the peripatetics, the followers of Aristotle, on the occipital portion of the brain, and the ways in which he found that position defective. Now he says, quid, meaning what else? Is it really vera simile? Notice this word, vera simile, means a likeness unto the truth. It's the combination of verum, meaning true, and the adjective similis, simile. It's a very common word. Is it really like unto the truth? And now we have the uh, indirect statement, really, the subject of which vera simile is the predicate. Is it really likely that Galen, Galenum, this is the famous medical doctor, the Greek Galen, Galenum, is it really possible or likely that Galen, illustrem, famous, well-known, this of course is related to the word lux, which means light, so renowned or brilliant, that Galen, famous, chiefly, in primis especially, in the laude, in the praise or the distinction, bene secondi, for his fine dissections. Secondi here, of course, is a gerund in the neuter, singular, and genitive, and it's modified by bene, famous for his fine dissections. That Galen was, fuisse, hebetem et stupidum sensu, he was sluggish and dull in his understanding, nor perspexisse, that he noticed the nativam compositionem cerebri. So is it, is it really likely that Galen, who was illustrum for these things, is it likely that he was heb, hebetem, dull and stupid in his understanding, or is it likely that he did not notice, nec perspexisse, the nativam compositionem, the basic composition or the inborn structure, cerebri, of the brain. Well, Galen is taken as an authority on anatomy, and he's an ancient authority. And now Perkins, building what he takes to be a very sound argument, cites a contemporary authority or a recent authority. He cites, of course, Andreas Vesalius. Or Vesalius also, was he lippi entibus? Et perversissimis oculis, was he endowed with bleary, lipientibus, and mistaken, so mistaken eyes. These are ablatives of description. Oculis as a masculine plural ablative, modified by both lipientibus and perversissimis, a superlative adjective. This, of course, is Andreas Vesalius, 1514 to 1564. Perkins was born in 1558. So Andrei Vesali of Brussels, Bruxellensis, and this is the title of his famous work, De Humani Corporis Fabrica, that is, on the construction, the fabrica of the human body. And this is a diagram, Prima Septimi Libri Figura, the first figure of the seventh book. It's a diagram of the brain. And Vesalius was a very famous anatomist of his generation and of subsequent generations. Perhaps we will feature one of his works at some point in Latin per diem.